final question for you, Magdil, is mm-hmm. how is life? Oh my God, that's a rich question. How is life? Life is perfect. Life is actually life. If you don't like the word perfect, life is life. Life is what it is. Tremendous, amazing, aus- an auspicious occasion. Life is being life. And it has its great rewards and triumphs for those who seek to overcome its challenges. My life is amazing, and I mean that. Do I have days when I feel a little cranked? Yes, I do. That doesn't change the fact that life is friggin' amazing. Look at the trees around you. Look at the, the, the variety of fruits and animals and life in the ocean. Look at the way the sky is. And I mean, what the fuck is there not to see how beautiful life is? You're letting your limited human circumstances stop you from seeing that. Life is amazing. I love life. And I would, if I were to redo mine again, I would do the same. It's life, (laughs) being itself. And I don't believe, a lot of people may not like what I'm about to say. I don't believe in, I believe life is only good. And the evil that exists is a misunderstanding of it. I'll say something. People say there's the devil and there's evil and all of that. Bullshit. I say fire could light up a room and warm it up and cook food and do so many beautiful things. Fire and one misuse could burn down a good house, a perfect house. Does it mean fire is not good? Fire is fire. All right, electricity could light up a room. It could charge up the phone you're using there. You know, electricity could charge up my phone and everything else. It has many uses. If it shocks you, does it mean electricity is bad? Electricity is electricity, just misused. Water, you could swim in it, dive in it. You know, you could do jet skiing on it. You could surf on it. You could cook with it, wash your body with it, drink it for you to, you know, I mean, does it mean if you drown in it or it floods your house or something goes wrong with its use or whatever, does it mean water is bad? Water is water. We have to know how to manage it. And the same applies. We could go on from electricity to fire to water to everything that is good in this world that when not understood or is that when it's misused, it could be chaotic. It doesn't make it bad. It's the use or misunderstanding of it. That's the misuse or misunderstanding. So life itself, until we understand it fully, we'll not think it's good, but we'll not fully understand it because it's a journey in your own life. You keep on journeying and journeying to more of life. Does it make you learning? If you open up your eyes for you to get, gather its wisdom, you're gonna get it. We've been around for how long? Even before our current day, people have been searching and digging and still discovering. Life is just there to explore. Life is fucking fantastic. And I'm gonna stand on that. Yeah, despite all the challenges I've had, I think life is fucking amazing. Yeah, because that's life. <laughs> okay, you said if you, if you could, you could. No, go on. <laughs> you said, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is real. Like life, yeah. it's real. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You said if you had the choice, you could live life over and over again. Mm-hmm. So my question for you is, what decision you have made, what decision you have made uh, that you wish, if you had the choice, you could go back and change? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, again, everything has its contradiction. I would accept myself much earlier and faster. I would not have given an, a, a shit what people think about me. I was born wild, I was being wild, and then they sent me to school and church. That taught me you have to be like this, you have to be like that. But I'm not wired that way. So the, my wiring wouldn't allow it. So I had a lot of backlash and pushback and some people called me amazing, some people think I'm too much. I, and then I used to contend with it and get upset and then try to explain. What I would not do again is explain myself to people or try to, 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 try to adapt or adjust myself to fit a fucking description that doesn't work for me i'm a wild natural real perfect growing unfolding evolving human being 
So 20 years ago, I made some choices that were making me feel, but that's the thing, that's how you learn. So should I, would I not do it? That's the thing, I, that's why earlier when you asked the question, I said nothing. But yeah, if I had to really reverse back behind, I know it's incorrect English. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, you know, tweet myself to suit anybody's criteria because most times people are trying to change you and people don't even know nothing about themselves they don't they don't know who they are i say that respectfully and lovingly i love humanity however i'm conscious i'm cognizant of the fact that there's varying levels of consciousness and the higher you go into it the more the view becomes sw sweeter and richer the bird's eye view gives you greater understanding so you find that people there's a variety of people that just don't think they drift they just follow the rules and they just drift with the masses. And then these motherfuckers want to teach you what's right and wrong. These fuckers don't know anything. Most people that give you advice don't even live their own lives. They have a, a, adapted themselves to a, 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 a procedure, a norm, a cultural code. And they're fucking unhappy and bitter. They want to teach the free spirit, the one who's living their life in full enjoyment, how to live. So these fuckers, I don't give a, pay attention to them anymore. I still love them anyway. I love humanity, but at the same time, I'm gonna choose the variety that feeds my growth, whilst I feed theirs. Yeah, so I ain't gonna, if I had to go back in retrospect and change anything, I would just not give a fuck with people, that's it. But I'm at that stage now, I don't give a shit. You could think what you want, opinions don't buy milk, sugar, Rolls Royce cars. Opinions don't do that. <laughs> Most people with an opinion just are not even about their own business and their mission and their purpose. People who are about their purpose are pulling people up. I know I digress there. I do that some, a lot. People who go up pull people up. They don't push people down. People who go up really pull people up because they want to see more people come up so they could have this less of a burden for themselves, for ourselves. I'm one of them too. You understand? So, yeah, if I had to go back in reverse, I would just not care what people think. But I'm glad I'm there now. I don't give a fuck what people think about me. I'm being me and naturally real. You don't like me? Fuck that. Go somewhere else. Different show. <laughs> okay, you said people bring people up. So.